the biologist Darwin of 19th century, one of the hundred greatest scientists of all time. He researched Snap, ornithology, taxonomy, geography, evolution, systematic history, and physiology of biology, and made the origin of species diversity. Three prize, triple crown of biology, Balzan Prize 1983, International Prize for Biology 1994, Kraft Prize 1999. What is living? Growth, reproduction, ability to sense environment and mount a suitable response come to our mind immediately as a unique feature of living organism. All living organisms grow increase in mass and number and that is called twin character of growth. A multicellular organism grows by cell division in plant continuous throughout their life but in case of animals up to a certain age. And the very important thing is amoeba which is unicellular organism and like bacteria algae etc are synonymous with growth but in case of higher plant and animal growth and reproduction mutually exclusive event again i am repeating lower organism synonymous with growth and higher plant and animal growth and reproduction mutually exclusive event and there are living organism exhibit following important characteristics number one growth number two reproduction number three metabolism number four consciousness and i am discussing about these topics that are given in ncrt in very describing manner growth growth increase mass and number and that is twin character in place in plant growth is continuous throughout their life But in animal growth is restricted after certain age. Living organisms show growth from inside, but living organisms show growth from outside by accumulation of the material on their surface. Next, reproduction. In case of unicellular organism, growth and reproduction are considered as same that is in increase in number that is bacteria, amoeba, paramecium, and unicellular algae. Many living organisms in nature are able to reproduce unable to reproduce that is mule hening worker bee infertile human couples etc but none of the living organism can reproduce or replicate their offering next metabolism metabolism is the sum of all chemical reactions that are occurring in our body that is in vivo condition and in vitro is which is occurring outside the body particularly in lab so consciousness consciousness or the ability to respond to environmental stimuli. Reproduction is seasonal breed that is plant and animal both is affected by photoperiod and this line is very important that is given in NCERT. Reproduction in seasonal breed that is plant and animal both is affected by photoperiod. Other important characteristics of living organism is self-organization, interaction and evolving. Number of species that are known to a human on earth are are 1.7 to 1.8 million but in class 12 ncrt chapter biodiversity that is given more than 1.5 million binomial nomenclature which is given by carriolus linear and five kingdom classification 1969 now biological nomenclature which is given by carriolus linear that is a system of providing a scientific name of two component to know organism first one genetic name and second one a specific epithet binomial nomenclature are given are provided by icbn and icjn now the full form of icbn is international code of for botanical nomenclature and icjn is international code of geological nomenclature icbn international code for botanical Nomenclature ICJN International Code of Geological Nomenclature. The difference is of and for, and it is very important. Important rules for binomial nomenclature. First word in biological name represents, represents the genus and a start with capital letter. Second word, a specific epithet, a start with a small letter. Biological name when handwritten, they are separately underlined or printed in italics. Biological names are usually in Latin. Homo sapiens for humans and Mangifera indica for mango. Taxa indicate different categories that is dog and cat. Canis dog 
and finally dead. Unique characteristics of mammal is dernal ear and body hair. Scientific term for this category is taxa. Taxa indicate categories at very different levels. Therefore, animals, mammals and dogs represent taxa at very different levels. The process of classification is nomenclature. External and internal structure along with the structure of cell development process and ecological information of organism are essential and form the basic mode modern taxonomy study. Characterization, identification, classification and nomenclature. Earliest classification are based on use of various organisms and different kinds of organism and their diversity and relationship that are referred to the branch of study systematics. Systematic is a Latin word systema. Originate from Latin word systema. Systematic arrangement of organism. Linear is a systema nature. Identification, nomenclature, classification. Systematics taken into account evolutionary relationship between organism. Taxonomic category. Category is the overall part. Category is a part of overall taxonomic arrangement that is called taxonomic category. All categories together considered as taxonomic hierarchy. Each category referred to as a unit of classification. Now we know the difference between taxon and taxa. Taxa is the plural form of taxon. Its rank or taxon in fact represents a unit of classification. And we use phyla and we use in the place of phylum is division for plant. Taxonomic hierarchy from low level to higher level is species, genus, family, order, class, phylum or division and division is for plant especially and makes to only kingdom. So at first species. Species is that is considered as a group of individual organisms with Fundamental similarities as a species based on the distinct morphological differences. Solanum pubaricum potato, Panthera leo, lion, Mangifera indica, mango. Each genus may have one or more than one specific epithet representing different organisms but having morphological similarities. Again, I am repeating each genus may have one or more than one specific epithet representing different organisms but having morphological similarities. For example, Panthera has another specific epithet called Tigris. Flanum includes species like Nigrum and Melidomia. Next, genus. Genus comprises a group of related species which has more characters in common in comparison to species. Potato and brinjal two different species but both belong to the genus Flanum. Lion, Panthera leo, Leopard, Panthera paradis, Tiger, Panthera tigris, with several common features. This genus differs from another genus, Phyllae, which include cat, and Canis, representing dog, and two different families. Next family. Family is still less number of similarities as compared to the genus and species. When we are, when we, we are going upward in taxonomic hierarchy, we see that their general character will be increases but their common character common character will decreases and general character will increases taxonomic hierarchy upward general character increases common character decreases order being a higher category assemblies of families which exhibit a few similar few similar character Plant family like Convolumnaceae, Flanaceae are included in the order Polymania, mainly based on floral character. The animal order Carnivora includes family like Canidae, Phyllis. Next class, order Primate comprises monkey, gorilla, gibbon, display in class, mammalia along with order Carnivora. Next phylum. In case of plants, we use division in the place of phylum. Stage number 11. This chart is very important and 
every year one or two question one question at least you can expect in this chart that's why it is very important and to also get some questions in your ncrt exemplar so man homo sapiens genus homo family hominid order primate class mammalia phylum chordata house fly biological name musca domestica genus musca family muscidae order diptera class insecta phylum arthropoda mango biological name mangifera indica genus mangifera family anthracardiaceae order sapping dogs order dicotyledon division angiosperm which biological name triticum asivum genus triticum family oeci order quail class monocotyl loan division and just one next one is taxonomic eggs taxonomical eggs taxonomical eggs especially used for identification of organism requires intensive laboratory and field study the collection of actual specimens of plant and animal species is essential and the prime source of taxonomic study. First one, Harvellum. Harvellum is a storehouse of collected plants, specimens and dried, placed and preserved on sheets. Sheet size is 19 by 41.5 cm or 6 and 16 and half by 11 and half inches. Harvellum is universal universally accepted system of classification and that is the storehouse or repository for future use and it also carry a label providing information about date and place of collection in which local and botanical name family characters name and that is the quick referral system again i am repeating herbarium universally accepted system of classification is to house for repository for future use it contains date and place of collection english local and botanical name family collectors name quick referral system in taxonomical studies Next one, botanical garden. Botanical garden, especially that is the collection of living plants for reference. Ga gardens are grown for identification purpose. Botanical garden, botanical uh, and its label plant is labeled including its botanical scientific name and family. Famous botanical garden, Kew, England. Indian botanical garden, Howrah, India. National Botanical Research Institute, Lucknow, India. Next one, museum. Biological museum is generally set up for educational institutes such as schools and college. Plant and animal specimens for study and reference. Specimens are preserved in the containers or jars in preservative solution. Plant and animal specimens may also be preserved as a dry specimen. Insects are preserved in insect box after collecting, killing and spinning. Largest animals like birds, mammals are usually stopped and preserved. A museum of a collection of skeletal skeletons of animals too. And preservative solution is formalin. Next, geological park. A geological park is a place where wild animals kept in protected environments under human care and which enable us to learn about food habitat and behavior of that particular animal. All animals in zoo are provided as far as possible condition similar to their natural habitat next one is key key is used for identification of plant and animal based on the similarities and dissimilarities based on contrastive character generally in a pair cor called couplet and this question is a question via the NEET 2019 Odisha paper and there are two options two options result in accepting one and another one is rejected each character is is a statement in the key is called lead family genus species for identification purpose or kiske jo kis matlab k e y s generally analytical in nature and there are some catalogs that is flora manual monograph catalog or some other means of recording description flora contains actual account of habitat and distribution of plants of a given area Again, I am repeating a question with a 
इट हैज बीन गलत किया था इसलिए मैं मेरा अच्छे से याद है फ्लोरा कॉन्टेंट द एक्चुअल अकाउंट ऑफ हैबिटेट एंड डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ प्लांट्स ऑफ ए गिवन एरिया एंड एंड नेक्स्ट देर आर टू थिंग्स एंड फर्स्ट वन इज मैनुअल एंड सेकेंड वन इज मोनोग्राफ मैनुअल जो है यहाँ पर स्पीसीज कैन फाउंड इन एन एरिया और मोनोग्राफ जो है यहाँ पर कॉन्टेंट्स इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनी वन टेक्सन और ऐसे भी याद रख सकते हो कि मोनोग्राफ ये जो वर्ड है थोड़ा बड़ा है इसलिए एनी वन टेक्सन कॉन्टेंट्स इन्फॉर्मेशन एनी वन टेक्सन बट इन केस ऑफ मैनुअल प्रोवाइड इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ नेम्स ऑफ स्पीसीज फाउंड इन एन एरिया मैनुअल इन एन एरिया मोनोग्राफ एनी वन टेक्सन ओके तो फर्स्ट वन चैप्टर इज एंड